Hi everyone, welcome to YA Book Bites. My name is Celeste and I'm the Teen Services Librarian at the St. Albert Public Library. And these are my top picks for grades nine and 10. First up, This Place 150 Years Retold is a graphic novel anthology that explores the past 150 years through the eyes of indigenous creators. See how indigenous people have survived a post-apocalyptic world since contact. This essential collection has beautiful artwork and amazing storytelling throughout. My next pick also explores survival and inequality. Internment by Samira Ahmed is a dystopian novel that takes place in a terrifying futuristic United States where Muslim Americans are forced into internment camps. 17-year-old Layla must lead a revolution against complicit silence. It's a timely novel that will really get you thinking. Next is Fireborn, the first in a new adventurous fantasy series. Annie and Lee were just children when a revolution changed their world, giving everyone, even the lowborn, a chance to join the governing classes of dragon riders. Now they are both rising stars in the new regime, but everything changes when survivors from the old regime surface, bent on reclaiming the city. Read this if you're a fan of epic fantasies like Game of Thrones or Red Rising. Next, we've got the 57 bus, a top pick for any true crime fans. Dashka Slater writes the true story of an assault in Oakland in 2013. Sasha and Richard are strangers who ride the 57 bus every day. Sasha is a white, agender teen who attends private school. Richard is a black public school student. But one day, Richard is egged on to light Sasha's skirt on fire, causing second and third degree burns. This award-winning book examines this one case to explore the complexities of race, gender, class, and justice in America. Another award-winning pick is Picture Us in the Light. When Danny Chang's father loses his jobs, his parents' carefully constructed life starts to break apart. His father settles into depression and his mother becomes more manic. At the same time, Danny has problems of his own when he discovers a family secret that could shatter everything. This book has complex characters and nuanced portrayals of family, friendship, and mental health. Reverie by Brian Lasala also has unforgettable characters. While recovering from an attack that leaves him without his memory, gay teenager Kane Montgomery stumbles into a world where dreams known as reveries take on a life of their own. It's up to Kane and a few unlikely allies to stop them before they spill over into the waking world. This will appeal to readers who like magic, mystery, and drag queen sorcerers. Now if you like horror stories and creepy tales, try Pet by Ikweke Imeze. 17-year-old Jan lives in a near-future utopia, a society that claims to have gotten rid of all evil. One night, a terrifying creature emerges from a painting Jam's mother created. It's Pet, a creature from another world on the hunt for a monster. Jam must embark on a quest to discover the crime and vanquish the monster. My next pick is for fans of historical survival stories. In a land of permanent goodbyes, Turek lives with his loving family in Syria when his world is torn apart. This gripping novel follows his incredible journey traveling from Turkey all the way to Germany. By reading this book, you'll get an authentic glimpse of the hardships faced by refugees around the world. And finally, we've got a coming-of-age story, The Love and Lies of Ruxana Ali. 17-year-old Ruxana is looking forward to going to Caltech and getting away from her conservative Muslim parents' expectations. When her parents catch her kissing her girlfriend Ariana, they whisk Ruxana off to Bangladesh. In this heartfelt novel, you'll cheer her on as she finds the courage to fight for the right to choose her own path. 